Hello friends, once again, welcome to Tech with us. In the part 2 of this series, we are going to start our discussion with Otosar Foundation and its need. So to start with, what is Otosar? Otosar is an abbreviation of Automotive Open System Architecture, which was developed in 2003 by a group of automotive OEMs and suppliers. The main objective of this is to create and establish an open and standardized software architecture which can be used across automotive applications and hardware. Let's see what was the need of it. So before the Autosar came into picture, we have the application software and we also have the hardware. They are interacting with each other to fulfill the requirements. There is nothing wrong with this. But do you observe the tight coupling here of the application software with the underlying hardware? So let's say if the hardware changes, what will happen with the application software? It also needs a massive update. So considering the rapid growth in automotive industry, this design is definitely not going to work. It has a huge development cost and also the cost will keep recurring from product to product. Hence, a standardized software was the need that time, which can keep application software independent of underlying hardware. This problem leads to the development of Autosar. Now, with this architecture, the application layer is completely decoupled with hardware and communicates with it via the standardized software components provided by the Autosar. In Autosar terminology, this standardized software component is called as basic software, which act as a bridge and facilitate communication between application and hardware layer. We will further have a detailed individual discussion on RTE, CDD and various services provided by BSW layer. With respect to this session, now we know what triggers the development of Autosar. There are few other features which Autosar provides are listed here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next session.